गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स ओम असतो मदगमया तमसो मोतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमया ओम शांति 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 वक्रतुंड महाकाया सूर्यकोटिशमर्प्रभा निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्व्यासु सर्वदा गुरु ब्रह्म गुरु विष्णु गुरुदेव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओम शांति गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर्स बाय माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक क्लास फॉर ग्रेड थ्री दैट इज क्लास थ्री इंग्लिश लेसन नंबर टू द हाई स्काय the high sky right as i'm telling you or these lessons are made you to get familiar with the language thoroughly try to have a better conversation try to understand each and every concept thoroughly and try to speak with your family and friends and your school friends and teachers okay in english to speak to know better language you do have to read the lesson again and again you have to try to understand yeah the proper pronunciation of the word meaning of the word and try to understand each and every sentence meaning of the sentence here in this lessons you are going to learn about the language right vocabulary skills and grammar part okay and here in this tenses also you are learning uh, past tense present tense okay and continuous tenses okay and even future tenses right and here in this lessons you are going to know the different different things which is around you right so by reading the stories you can have a command on languages right on your own language the english language you are going to learn english medium right so you must try to speak in Eng- in english in english right so try to know the meanings pronunciation and meanings of the sentence and try to frame your own questions frame your own sentences okay right the story the high sky is all about the old woman and the sky itself right the old woman try to keep her surrounding clean her house clean not dusty so she always grooms the things which is waste or dusty uh, when you see uh, in and around her house just she keeps on grooming all the time she keeps on keeping clean all the time so the story is all about that all right so let's start you can find the sky related words and complete this word web so this sky in the sky we can see the sun we can see the stars we can see the moon we can see the we can see the we can see the weather we can see the cloud in the sky sun star moon weather and cloud this is are related to sky these all are related to sky right so next let's read let's read okay here you can find the meanings of the words meanings of the words this is utensils pots and pans utensils means pots and pans court yard means an open space surrounded by wall court yard means an open space surrounded by walls here shock sudden moment sudden moment terrible something that causes great fear or alarm this is called terrible terrible means something that causes great fear and alarm frightened means scared frightened means scared herd means a group of sheep or goat this is called herd gathered means came together gathered means came together unbearable not able to bear it unbearable not able to bear it these are the words for that you have a meanings these are the new words for you these uh, for these meanings are given by the author okay so try to read and understand and pronounce properly know the meaning 
and know the meaning of each and every sentence all right let's read a very long time a very long time means ಒಂದಾನೊಂದು ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತಾರಲ್ಲ ಭಾಳ ಭಾಳ ಹಳೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದಾನೊಂದು ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಕಲಿ ಕತೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಂದಾನೊಂದು ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ಬ ಅಜ್ಜಿದಳು ಈ ಥರ ಹೇಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಗೌ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ರೈಟ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಗೌ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೋ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ದಟ್ all people could touch it if they raise their hands this is an imagination of an author so don't think that is a real this is a practical okay a very long time ago the sky was very low it was so close to the earth and that tall people could touch it if they raise their hands means what onda anondu kaladalli a sky enittala baala ಭೂಮಿಕ ಹತ್ತಿರವಾಗಿತ್ತು ಸಮೀಪಿತ್ತು ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಅದು ಎತ್ತರ ಮನ್ಸಿ ಮಂದಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಕೈ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಸ್ಕೈ ಟಚ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಬಾ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದಾಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಎಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ನಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಟಚ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಒಂದು 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 ಪಾಯಿಂಟಿಗೆ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸ್ಕೈ ಮತ್ತು ಅರ್ತ್ ಒಂದಕ್ಕೊಂದು ಟಚ್ ಆಗ್ತವ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಆಥರ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ at the point where the sky nearly touched the earth these were all this there was a small village there was a small village an old woman lived in a house by herself almost called manel idlu okay there was a small village alon halli ittu an old woman old woman lived in a house by herself almost called ಆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ಲು ಆಲ್ ದೌ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಡೇ ಆಲ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಡೇ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ದಿವಸ ಎಲ್ಲ ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ಡೂ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛ ಮಾಡೋದು ದಿನ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಬರೀ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛ ಮಾಡೋದು ಬಾಂಡೆ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛ ಮಾಡೋದು ಡಸ್ಟ್ನ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸುತ್ತಮುತ್ತ ಕಸ ಕಡ್ಡಿ ಬಿತ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ಲು ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ಡೂ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಯುಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಯುಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಪಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಯುಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಪಾತ್ರೆಗಳು ಇರ್ತಾವಲ್ಲ ಅವಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಯುಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಪಾತ್ರೆಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ಯುಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಪಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಪಾಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಿದ್ವು ಈಗ ಪ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಪಾಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಗಡಿಗೆ ಅಂತಾರಲ್ಲ ಆ ಥರದ್ದು ಶಿ ವುಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಯುಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಡಿಗೆ ಪಾತ್ರೆಗಳು ಅಡಿಗೆ ಸಾಮಾನ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಯುಟೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಸ್ವೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಪ್ ಸ್ವೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಪ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಹರ್ ಕೋಟೆ ಆಟ್ ಅವಳ ಮನೆ ಸುತ್ತಮುತ್ತ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಬಿದ್ದಿದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ಕಸ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸೊ ಇದೇ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ಸ್ವೀಪ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಕಸ ಬರೀ ಕಸ ಹೊಡೆಯೋದು ಮಾಪ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನೆಲ ಓರ್ಸೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ ಮಾಪ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಹರ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಬಲ್ ಬಂದಂಥ ಕಸ ಕಡ್ಡಿ ಧೂಳು ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಕೆಲಸನೇ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ಲು ಡೇ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡೇ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಡೇ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಎಗೌ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೋ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೋ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಅರ್ತ್ that tall people could touch it if they raised their hands a very long time ago the sky was very low it was so close to the earth that tall people could touch it if they raised their hands at the point where the sky nearly touched the earth there was a small village an old woman lived in a house by herself all through the day she would do household work she would clean utensils sweep and mop the floor mop the floor and dust her courtyard courtyard means an open space surrounded by walls an open space surrounded by walls that is called courtyard right that is that is called courtyard one day one day she saw that her courtyard was very dirty one day she saw her courtyard was very dirty as
that her coat had was very dirty here i made some new words for practice and getting familiar with the spellings and here i am making a pronunciation okay one day she saw her coat yard was very dirty she picked up her broomstick to clean it broomstick andre bargi bargi khaddi bargi irutalla broomstick tagondu clean maada kottu one day she saw that her coat yard was very dirty one day sa ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಪ್ಪೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಜಗ ಭಾಳ ಡಟ್ಟಿ ಆಗಿಬಿಟ್ಟಿತ್ತು ಶಿ ಪಿಕ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಹರ್ ಬ್ರೂಮ್ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಕಡ್ಡಿ ಬರಿಗೆ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಶಿ ಸ್ವೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಶಿ ಸ್ವೆಪ್ಟ್ ಸ್ವೀಪ್ ಸ್ವೆಪ್ಟ್ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ raised a cloud of dust again soon her house and the entire entire village were covered with the dust in clean mad kudlene mat hage matte dust ban bidutu hage dust ban bidutu it also reached the sky hage adu gaali hange aakashakke hogi mudutade no nange agibittu due to the dust the sky started to cough adakke ee nodi dust ban kudlene aagutu nimge kem bartadilla ಬರ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಾಫ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಕಾಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಾಫ್ ದ ಪೂರ್ ಸ್ಕೈ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಸ್ವೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಸ್ವಚ್ಛ ಮಾಡೋದ್ರಾಗ ಧೂಳ ಸ್ಕೈ ತನ ಮುಟ್ತು ಸ್ಕೈ ಪೋರ್ ಸ್ಕೈ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತು ಅದು ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಉಸಲಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟು ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಬರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ದ ಪೋರ್ ಸ್ಕೈ ಕುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ವುಮೆನ್ ಸ್ವೆಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಮನೇನೆ ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ಲು ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಸ್ನೀಸ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ದ ಕ್ಷಿ ಅಂತ ಸೀನ್ ಬರ್ತದಲ್ಲ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಕೈ ಸ್ನೀಡ್ ಅಚ್ಚಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಲೌಡ್ ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಾಕ್ಡ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಾಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಲೌಡ್ ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಶಾಕ್ ನೀವು ಚೀರದ್ರ ಬಾಜು ಮನೆ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ತದೆ ಲೈನ್ ಚಿರಿದ್ರೆ ಒಂದ್ನೂರು ಮನೆ ಕೇಳಿಸ್ತದೆ ಸ್ಕೈನೇ ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೇಳಿಸಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೌಡ್ ಒಂದು ಬರೀ ಗುಡುಗು ಮಿಂಚಿ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಗುಡುಗು ಮಿಂಚಿ ಬರ್ತದ ಪೂರ ಸ್ಕೈ ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಏನು ಕತೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಪೂರ ವಿಲೇಜರ್ಸು ಶಾಕ್ ಆದರು ಅ ಕ್ರೌಡ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಸೀ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಟೆರಿಬಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಂಗಾಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ಓಡ್ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಶಾಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಸಡನ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಶಾಕ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಸಡನ್ ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಟೆರಿಬಲ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಡ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲರಾಮ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತಪ್ಪ ಮಳಿ ಗುಡುಗು ಬಂದಂಗ ಬಿಳಪ್ಲೆ ಇರ್ತದೆ ನನಗ ಮಳಿ ಬೀಳ್ತದೆ ನನಗ ಸೊ ಅ ಕ್ರೌಡ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಸಿ ವಾಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಟೆರಿಬಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಟೆರಿಬಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಅಲರಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಿಟನ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಿಟನ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅ ಫ್ರಿಟನ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಿಟನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಜಿಕೆ ಆಗಿರ್ತದಲ್ಲ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಶೀಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಫ್ರಿಟನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಶೀಪ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಡ್ಸ್ ಕುರಿಗೋ ಕಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವೆಲ್ಲ ಅಂಜಿಕೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಹಾ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹಿಂಗ ನೋಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತು ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಫ್ರಿಟನ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಶೀಪ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ಡ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಅವನು ಬಿಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಎಲ್ಲರ ಬಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು 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 ಅಂತ ನೋಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಓಕೆ ವೆನ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸಾ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮತ್ತೊಂದ್ಸಲ ಸೀನ್ ಬರ್ತದ ಅನಿಸ್ತದೆ ಈಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಕೈ ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸಾ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ನೀಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಹೌದಾ
ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಅನ್ಬಿಯರೇಬಲ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಬಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಭಾಳ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಬರ್ತಿತ್ತು ವಾ ಏನು ತ್ರಾಸಿದ್ವು ನನಗೆ ಸಹಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಆಗ್ಯದ ಏನು ಪೇನ್ ಇದು ಆ ಅಂತಂತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಸೈಡ್ ಅನ್ಬಿಯರೇಬಲ್ ಪೇನ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಇದು ಅನ್ಬಿಯರೇಬಲ್ ಆಯಿತು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವೈಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸೋ ಅನ್ಬಿಯರೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸ್ಕಾಯ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಅದು ಅಳಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತು ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಕೈ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಆ ಧೂಳ ನೋಡಿ ಅಪ್ಪ ಇದೇನು ಧೂಳ ನನಗೆ ಆಗಿ ಬರಲಾಗ್ಯದ ಅಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಸ್ಕೈ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಟಿಯರ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಫೆಲ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಟಿಯರ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಆಕಾಶ ಅಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತು ಈಗ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಕಣ್ಣ ನೀರು ಬರ್ತವೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಹಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಿಡ್ತದೆ ಹಂಗೆ ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಬಿದ್ದವನ್ನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಬಿಡೋದು ಅನ್ಬಿರೇಬಿಟ್ರು ಓಕೆ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಟಿಯರ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ಸ್ ಫೆಲ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಡ್ಡಿ ಹೌದಾ ಮಡ್ಡಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಣ್ಣು ಮಣ್ಣು ಮಾಡಿಬಿಡ್ತು ಅದು ಮಣ್ಣು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸೇರ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬಿಡ್ತು ದಿಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ದ ಕೋಟ್ ಯಾರ್ಡ್ ಮಡ್ಡಿ ಮಡಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಸ್ಟಿ ಡಸ್ಟಿ ಮಡ್ಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆಲ ಆಲ ಬೋಟ್ ಅ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ರೀಡ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಓಕೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಮ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಯು ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೊ ನನ್ನ ಕೆಲಸ ಅದ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕೆಲಸ ಅದ ನೀವು ಓದಬೇಕು ಓದ್ದೇನೂ ಇರ್ತೀರಿ ನಂಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಆದರೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಮಾಡೋಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ಲಾಕ್ಡೌನ್ನಾಗ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಯಾರಿಗೂ ಸತಾಸ್ಬೇಡ್ರಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಓದ್ಕೋರಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಆಗ್ರಿ ಓಕೆ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಎಗೋ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಎಗೋ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೋ ಭಾಳ ಸಮೀಪ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತಂಗೆ ಹತ್ ಮುಟ್ಟಪ್ಲೆ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದಂಗೆ ದ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಎಗೋ ದ ಸ್ಕೈ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲೋ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೋ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ದಟ್ ಟಾಲ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕುಡ್ ಟಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ರೈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ where the sky nearly touched the earth there was a small village and old woman lived in a house by herself all through the day she would do household work she would clean utensils sweep and mop the floor and dust her coat at dust her coat at here utensils means the cooking vessels utensils pan and pots coat at means open space surrounded by a wall all right so then again here one day she saw the she saw that her coat yard was very dusty very dirty she picked up her broomstick to clean it she swept sweep swept past tense the ground so fast and hard that it raised a cloud of dust baala ee jaasti dhool bantandru hing yaro clean martta idandu enagi bidudu antara cloud thanna kanthala soon her house and entire village were covered with the dust it also reached the sky due to the dust the sky started to cough okay here pronounced as cough the poor sky could not breathe as the old man swept the ground suddenly the sky sneezed ch ch ach it was such a loud sneeze that the entire village shock shock means here sudden movement a crowd came out to see what had caused such a terrible thing terrible means something that causes great fear of alarm let's go terrible in fact a uh, fr a frightened herd of sheep gathered around two not only people the frightened means scared herd means a group of sheep right when when people saw that the sky was about to sneeze again they ran here and there in fear they were afraid that the sky might fall down fall down on them after a while it became unbearable after a while it became unbearable for the sky that if it started crying the sky started crying it's un- became unbearable 
unbearable means not able to bear it let's call unbearable okay for sky for the sky that started crying huge drops of drops fell on the earth this made the old woman's coat had muddy kesar kesar agibudtu okay dust dust agibudtu that's called muddy so here are the words meaning okay here are the words meaning you can copy and you can get familiar with the meanings of these words then so it's all about the lesson now this was too much for the woman to bear now this was too much to woman to bear she raised her broomstick and hit the sky get away she shouted at the sky now this was too much for the woman to bear she raised her broomstick and hit the sky get away she shouted at the sky the sky was so scared and that it moved higher and higher and so near to come down again so near to come down bear means accept something without complaining about it okay so means promised to not come again okay now this was too much for the woman to bear means here accept something without complaining about it okay she raised she raised her broomstick and hit the sky get away she shouted at the sky the sky was so scared and it moved higher and higher and sore sore means promise never to come back again down again and bitu see the mac ho bitu yavdu sky ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಕಾಟ ತಾಳಾರ ಸಲಕ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತು ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಕೂಡ ಸಿಟ್ಟು ಬಂತು ಹೌದಾ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಮೆನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ courtyard are written so courtyard when the dash rose the sky began to sneeze dust rose here not rose rise again rose past tense is rose when the dust rose the sky began to sneeze when the village shock a a herd of sheep collected group of sheep or herd of sheep right the dash tear drops made the coat air dash salty or muddy huge or big the huge or big a huge tear drops made the coat air and coat air salty or muddy muddy right clear so next is tick the correct answer the options are given you need to tick the correct answers here the old woman picked up that broomstick to clean her kitchen bedroom courtyard yes courtyard the village shock by the thunder sky sneeze sky sky sneeze dust in the sky sky sneeze which of the following is the right herd of sheep flight of sheep crowd of sheep herd of sheep all right so now here the are the answer the following questions i will give you separate notes for this okay separate question answers don't worry bear means here accept something without complaining about it means sore means promised okay guys clear so i will share the question answers in the pdf file don't worry okay so now let's explore imagine you are you are this guy what you do what would you do have done what you what would you have done if the old lady had troubled you with so much of dust what would you have told her so 
this is called explore the thing nive on the screen agidre yen maartidri ha yen maartidri avu yen anthe heltidri yav rite react maartidri so this is a homework okay share the words with your parents right let's learn new words let's learn new words prefix un un unbearable unable okay iga odidrala unbearable 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 usual unusual okay this is called prefix andre modlu word the munche prefix antare idakke we can make a new words by adding a letter or a group of letters before or after a word letter or letters that we add before a word is called prefix adding any letters to a word is called prefix okay letters such as un this im unbearable unusual dis dishonor dishonor discount im impractical practical impractical etc means un this im we we'll learn words here etc are called prefixes means bearable unbearable okay bearable unbearable honor dishonor practical impractical so practical is a word if you add im it is impractical honor is a word if you add dis it is a dishonor it is a un happy if we add this un it will become a different meaning unhappy right this is called these are called prefixes the new word will mean something different that's opposite maybe opposite okay this is called suffixes after a while it became an so unbearable bearable is something you can bear or accept unbearable is means something you can't bear it or accept this is of course of course is opposite like the the prefix un means not it is called as a negative prefix negative means that's opposite what we can say negative okay one the word again happy and happy okay usual unusual that's negative add man all right unable unimportant unheard uncork unclear unclean is a unable unimportant unheard uncork unclean so these words are given you can make you can add into the blanks given below read the underlined words read the underlined words and add un to fit the blank fill the blanks read the underlined words and add un to fill the blanks here this place is not clean it is unclean clean not clean not clean means instead of saying the place is unclean not clean negative word this place is not clean it is unclean just say unclean no instead of saying this place is not clean just say it is unclean my parents said that they have never heard of something called tsunami such thing was unheard of till december 2000 4 december 2004 tanaka tsunami andra nadde kelkondirilla hesre kelirilla antarla unheard okay she unheard my statements she unheard my statements keldang madlu kele illa nan words antarla adakke okay it was not very important it was unimportant it is unimportant it is not very important okay not very another word it was unimportant you know only one sentence you can form this is a negative sentence the same idu another word un use madabodu negative ge un inta use madabodu idakke sneha she han she han is not able to complete the work he is unable to complete it he is unable to complete it okay she han is not able to complete the work idu anad badlu he is unable to complete the work complete it andra mugudaitu the cork is stuck tightly 
कैन यू अनकॉक दिस बॉटल फॉर मी कॉर्क अंदर अ बॉटल ओपनिंग सिगे वन दो लिड हाचिर तरह ला अदर बदलो वन दो कॉर्क नो कोड़ा हस्ता है लेट्स वाव कॉर्क क्लोज मार डाल क्या राइट द कॉर्क इस स्टक टाइटली कैन यू अनकॉर्क द दिस बॉटल फॉर मी दिस इस कॉर्ड व्हाट इट इस कॉर्ड इट इस प्रीफिक्सेस ओके दिस आर कॉर्ड प्रीफिक्सेस राइट क्लियर so read and understand this so that this will help you and simultaneously watch this okay okay all right suffixes means suffixes means ness letter or letters added after root words are called suffixes letter or letters added after a root word are called suffixes Look at the highlighted letter in the following words: kindness, brightness. Means a letter or word added to a root word called suffixes at the end. Look at the highlighted letters in the following words: kindness, brightness. Letter the letters ness is suffix. End is called writing end words are called suffixes. Beginning words are called beginning adding few word or uh, letter. is called suffixes to which of the following word can you add the suffixness circle them okay suffixness open openness okay truth truthfulness rough roughness soft softness fit fitness not childness or trueness open openness truth truthness Rough roughness, fit fitness, soft softness. Okay, this course adding suffixes to the root words. Okay, adding suffixes to the root words. Let's learn grammar. Let's learn grammar. Read the following sentences. Read the following sentences. He worked from morning to till night, but he remained poor. He worked from morning to till night but he remained poor what can this little bird do what can this little bird do you must finish everything no matter what how sweet no matter what how sweet okay here some statements are there so we need to discuss it here Do you notice any differences in the sentences? Now look at this table. Declarative, assertive. Okay. So here, declarative sentences, assertive sentences, interrogative sentences, commandable sentences, emotional sentences, and everything. Okay. Let's discuss kindness sentences. Here the kindness. Kind of sentences, sorry, kind of sentences: declarative, assertive, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory sentences. Normally, simple sentences: I go to school is a simple sentence. Okay, right? Will you go to school? This is interrogative sentence. Ha! Huh? What happened to it? It's a exclamatory sign. Okay, like this, we'll try to understand different types of kinds of sentences: declarative, assertive. What it does? Make a statement. Makes a statement. What it does? Make a statement. Here, punctuations at the end of the at the end is a full stop. At the full stop. At the full stop, you have to put after every sentence, you have to put the full point. This is called assertive sentence and declarative sentence. What it does? Made makes a statement. Statement again. Full point for the echo. And example, a very long time ago, the sky was very low. This is declarative sentence. In her Thai daily, a very long time ago, the sky was very low. This assertive sentence or declarative sentence is clear. Is clear. No questions. No interrogation. No exclamation. Nothing. The full point. Okay. That is interrogative sentence. Ask a question. Ask a question. May I go there? May I write this? May I go there? Can I do this? 
what what shall i do what's your name these are called why when what how where these are question mark is is it is a question mark this again the interrogative right question mark not here in the declarative sentence you have to put the full point and here question mark will you come with me will you come with me this is the question forming a question so this is called interrogative sentence shall i go there will you come with me may i take this what is your name where you go what what do i do how much like you are going to ask that who is this this is the interrogative sentence these are interrogative double h questions and move on to the imperative sentences gives an order or a command makes a request or both are things these are called imperative sentences either it may be request mode or it is ordering mode the both are called the here also you have a full point complete the work only then you can take a break when you come to school when you show me incomplete work i say that you complete the work then only i will leave you the leave for lunch otherwise no get in like that so complete the work only then you can take a break please make a way for me for the old lady this is called requesting mode so instead of complete the work only then only uh, only then uh, you can go to a break. please but you complete the work then you go for a break so this is called requesting mode or the commanding mode how long am i request you i'll give a command to you right complete the work only then you can take a break this is called commanding this is called requesting please make a way for the lady right so this is called imperative sentence exclamatory sentences expression of strong emotion surprise pain anger often begins with the words such as ha ah, o oh, ouch a ah, o oh, ouch this is called exclamatory ha ah, what happened to your mother she was fine yesterday ouch add something met a strong a sharp object was near to my leg ouch how kind how kind you are arena oh what a stupid thing i have done ouch i have a thrown in my foot ouch i have a thrown in my foot wow what a beautiful scenery okay wow what a beautiful scenery so these are called exclamation signs exclamatory signs okay what a beautiful what a cute ah oh, alas what happened so all the sudden words are called exclamatory signs so expression of strong emotions surprise pain anger often begins with the words such as ah oh, oh ouch so oh wow so like this clear so read this table thoroughly and get familiar with the declarative sentence assertive sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence these are the kinds of sentences these are the kinds of sentences okay sentence nam sir appreciate sir sentence is a sunte pudi nagdi bandre kaskon kudi definition of the sentence it's not like that so sentence give a clear meaning sentence must give a clear meaning what you are going to say that should be clear then that should ends with a full point that's called sentence interrogative sentence there must be a question and there must be a question mark ends with a question mark okay imperative sentence means this is called interrogative sentence right imperative sentence means giving command or requesting is called imperative sentences exclamatory oh wow right ouch so these are ends with exclamatory signs this is full stop question mark and exclamatory signs okay next identify each of the sentences so write d for the declarative sentences if the interrogative sentences write im 
for for impor, imperative sentences and write e for exclamatory sentences where are you going question right this is interrogative sentence give me a pen please this is called imperative sentences it's called imperative so it's you are going to have a request right imperative sentence this is interrogative sentences oops i shouldn't have done this this is exclamatory sentences be silent again the commanding is the imperative sentences dad has not take our pet to the doctor this is declarative sentence dad has not has to take our pet to the doctor this is declarative sentences All right so make your own sentences say that which is declarative which is imperative which is interrogative which is exclamatory etc hope you guys understood these grammar parts the language lab so say these let's learn these sounds say these words loud notice the difference in the letters given in the bold rib rib mob mob rob rob rope right rib rip mob mob rope rope slap slap so here with the bold meaning changes okay sound of b and sound of p that's it p e not rob not robi mo rope not ropi right so like this look at the pictures identify the sounds and then write the spellings in the blank so here stop s t o p stop sign this tub scup cub this web cube right so these are the shows the lip sound when the we announce the b or p right just read and get the with the words and sounds okay guys listening and speaking skills you just heard a uh, what a flock tale is and how the theme of the flock stories are mostly come on across the world now answer the following questions what is folk tale just the, the folk tales are not real so like that you have a some question and answers so just you have to work on this right so from two groups of students one could one child ask each group will step forward and step start conversation like this student one i like the sky when it is when it is blue when it is cloudy when it is rainy when it is shiny like that i like the sky when it is when it provides cool breeze means bluish like that you can have that kind of situation okay so now let us write let's write look at the picture below and describe the picture in 50 words so take down this is a very greeny picture so we can see the different types of flowers and big trees around the garden so like this you can write five sentences about this picture all right so here is one time you can make an activity or like a making of a tribal mask what you read and enjoy is a tribal flock tale flock tale let's have some fun making a tribal mask this is called tribal mask try to make this kind of tribal mask with the materials with the materials required see the list of materials here chart paper two strings strings means are of the same length craft scissor and watercolor watercolor how to make it draw a face as you see here on the chart paper color it as shown here or as paper as per your choice cut out the face from the chart paper make holes holes for the eyes for the eyes you can make a holes here and put a hole on either side of the face either sides of the face okay and knot the strings through one hole each place the mask on your face and tie the strings go ahead do the tribal dance okay so and the happy birthday you guys put some joker 
some joker mask right sometimes you wear modi's mask right cartoon mask right okay so this is a tribal mask you can see try to do it so that will give you a uh, enjoyment value and values and life skills here the old man in the story was very particular about keeping her house clean do you help our parents to keep your house clean yes when you come from the school when you come from the school remove your shoes and socks place your socks uh, shoes and socks on its particular place and the, your school bag place to your study near the study table and remove your remove your clothes okay clothes and put it for the washing and get fresh then wear your normal clothes and try to help your parents while cleaning your house okay just help them in maintain the your house clean like clean the you clean your own do your own work don't help others just keeping yourself clean that will be a very better thing right clean your study table clean your bed make your bed okay keep your uh, dresses neatly right keep your notebooks and uh, pencils properly after that you try to help your parents so that's a big help actually if you do yourself right will you do it right science and social studies let's interrogate in this story the sky is sky is within touching distance do you think this is possible no no compare this story with what you have learned in your science or social studies class about your solar system also if the sky was indeed so so low how would you feel discuss in the class no in the solar system we have studied all about the different different stars and different planets okay there were so many planets in the solar system and there were so many stars in the solar system a lot of things will be in the solar system the solar the solar system is far away from the earth and it is uh, earth is covered with earth is covered with so gases nitrogen gas hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide okay with the help of this the whole this atmosphere means air quality is maintained all right we had that all we have studied in the solar system but as per the science this flock story is fails but flock stories are flock stories they don't have any reality they are there for fun if sky is so close to the earth what you do i'll fly in the sky i put my swing to the sky and play okay so like this many things i touch all the stars i may i may play with the sun and moon all the time okay so this kind of fun you should have we, we should think like this right i hope you students understood this lesson the lesson is the lesson is the the high sky the high sky the lesson is all about high sky right hope you guys understood this lesson try to read understand each and every word meaning of each and every word meaning of each and every sentence and try to get familiar with the phonetics try to understand the pronunciation and try to get the to know the different types of sentences like uh, declarative sentences assertive sentences imperative sentences interrogative sentences and exclamatory sentences form your own sentence say that which is your statement is what is the statement is right like this what is sentence is right and try to know the meanings of this okay and try to get familiar with the new words write again and again spellings of this and try to read pronounce then get familiar with the spellings also after doing all this activity go to the book take your notebook then start writing without understanding just looking at this book or looking at the notes and copying into your notebook that doesn't make any sense 
clear okay i hope you all understood this lesson so let's catch you in the next session till then take care bye bye